Hey everybody, welcome to Shave It Up Over 40. Today's podcast is a picture says a thousand words. And when I say podcast, I mean podcast, video, wherever you're watching or listening to this, I am so glad you're here. And today's podcast talk is a picture says a thousand words. And what exactly are those words that are being said? (laughs) So clients come to me and I always hear, I just can't stand how I look in pictures. I look huge. And this past Saturday, my family and I celebrated my dad's 80th birthday and we met for dinner at a restaurant and we did a group family photo. And you can check out this photo on any of my social accounts. So whether it's LinkedIn, I think I posted on LinkedIn, and I'm pretty sure LinkedIn, um, Instagram or Facebook. And by the way, if you are not following me on social, why not? Come over and join me. I am mostly active on Facebook, so you can find me there. Um, at Instagram, I am at Shape It Up with Nicole, and I C O L E. And at Facebook, you can find the business page at Shape It Up or join the free Facebook group called Women Over 40 Lose Weight. The link will be in the notes below. So we had this party for my dad. You know, it was just dinner. And now when I left the house, I thought I looked pretty good. I thought my outfit was in check. (laughs) I felt really confident in what I was wearing. Um, I know I felt lean and really good about myself. Um, And then we took this group photo and I saw the photo because, you know, you take a picture on your cell phone and you can instantaneously see the photo. And I was like, what? (laughs) What happened? So if you want to see this picture again, go check out it out on my social media post, um, Facebook or Instagram for sure. Um, but check it out. It's a multicolored top, which I always liked and a black loose, like almost beachy pants. And, um, again, when I left in my mind, I thought I looked pretty good in this. And then when I saw the picture, I was like, I look like I'm six months pregnant. Now I know that currently I am pretty lean right now. I know this from the work that I've been doing and the mindset work that I've been doing. And I know just physically, I feel awesome in my body right now. And I know that if I had not spent the time working on my mindset for years and years that I've been doing this about my body image, there is one, no way in hell I would have posted that picture on social media for the world to see. And two, before mindset work, I would have been in the fetal position crying my eyes out because I just can't lose the weight and what the hell is wrong with me? I get it. I grew up in the ballet world. You are judged as soon as you walk in the door, even before you have made one dance move. And you're not only judged by others like your teacher, your choreographer, and your peers, but then you add another layer of judgment on top that is your own. Like you're judging yourself for judging yourself. And it's a double whammy, probably like a triple or quadruple whammy. Now there are other similar sports and activities that do this like gymnastics, wrestling, things like that. Um, And this allows us to like be accepted by the tribe, you know, wanting to fit in and wanting to feel like you belong in a group Um, Like back in the day, you know, again, primitive brain, if you weren't accepted in the group, you were shunned from the group and cast out and your brain running on that default primitive brain, that meant death. That meant you were isolated from everyone else and you would not survive. And we still carry that in to today's society. You know, we want to belong in groups. We want to be accepted. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the way you look at it. But I also want to note as a side note, even if you got shunned by your supposed group, have you ever thought you could just find another group? So your primitive brain will also do this with like physical attraction and finding a mate. Think about whoever you are physically attracted to you. On some level, 
you think that the traits that they have are really important. Maybe you look for someone who can financially support your family or someone who is strong because they can protect you and your offspring, right, your kids. This is what the primitive brain does. It wants to keep our species alive and around for a long time. So you are going to gravitate towards certain characteristics that you think is really important in order to not just mate and stay together, but also to protect your kids and offspring and all that. Again, primitive thinking. So when I saw this picture that was taken at the party, I was really shocked. And I, the first thought was like, I checked myself out in the mirror before I left. What went wrong, right? Now, old me, before the mindset work that I've done, would have fretted for the rest of the evening through the entire meal. Again, the picture was taken before the food came out. I would have regretted whatever I had already ordered. Um, if I hadn't ordered already, I would have been like, oh, I just need a salad. I would have been questioning my workouts throughout the dinner. I would have been questioning pretty much everything. I would have thought I needed to be more strict, that I needed more discipline. Like what I am doing is clearly not working because of this picture. So I need to find something different to try. And I would have really checked out during the rest of the party, being all up in my head. Then when dessert time rolls around, I, again, past me, of course, would have ordered dessert because I will start tomorrow, right? That's the, everyone says that. And I know the dessert will taste super good, which again is me looking to comfort myself. And after eating dessert, I would have immediately, immediately regretted it as soon as the last bite slid down my throat. Then the thoughts of, I feel so incredibly stuffed. I can't believe I ate the dessert. I should have known better. I really am going to have to be extra strict starting tomorrow. And on and on and on with all the negative thoughts. Now, having done the mindset work, and again, this is what I teach my clients. When I saw the picture, again, because the beauty of cell phones, you can see it instantaneously, right? The thought came in like, wow, I look like I'm six months pregnant. I know I looked good when I left the house <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. I was a little bummed, but I didn't have all that mind drama like before. I, my first thought was like, this top is for sure getting donated. Like I'm never putting it on my body again. <laughs> then the thoughts that came in were like, that photo is not accurate. I know I'm pretty lean right now. I know I look great in my yoga pants and workout tops because um, that is usually what I live in. Um, this outfit just isn't flattering on me. Maybe it was the camera angle, those kind of thoughts. And I kind of like hashed through that pretty quickly. And then I was like, it is what it is. You know, I ate the meal that I had ordered without drama and I had cake. It is a birthday party. Remember my motto is no foods are off limits. So I had cake without any drama. The end. There was no beating myself up. There was no threatening to make my workouts harder or restrict food or to double up on my workouts. Nothing like that. Now, a relative of mine had posted the family photo on their social media. And of course, I was tagged in it. And I looked at it and I thought, and this was like Sunday evening. Sunday, actually, it might have been even Monday morning. So the party was Saturday, a Monday morning. I'm pretty sure is when I saw it. And I thought to myself, I have got to share this with everyone. So I took a photo of me on Monday, right after my lunch. So I had just eaten a meal and I was in my workout clothes, of course, right? I went downstairs into my gym and I took two pictures front and side, just so people could see the difference. Now between Saturday and Monday afternoon, I did not do anything drastic. On Sunday, actually, I got up and um, my husband treated me to iFly. If you have never done that, you need to go do it. It is so much fun. You can also check out my social media on that. There were some videos and some pictures and it was so much fun. Um, and then on Sunday, we went to the mall and we ate out. We had lunch and, you know, there was no food restriction. I actually had, I had dessert again. <laughs> I had carrot cake 
um, when we ate lunch. So it was, it was just a normal day. There were, I didn't do any workouts, right? Unless you want to consider I fly a workout, um, which yes and no, but, um, it was just a normal day. It wasn't like I, you know, went and decided to do a three hour workout or anything like that. So what I want to show or express to you is that sometimes the camera is not showing you the truth. It could be camera angles. It could be lighting. It could be the style of clothes. Even if you are nowhere near where you want to be weight wise, you get to decide how you want to react to that photo. Do not let photos determine your worth, your value, or your self-confidence. I have never been more confident and comfortable in my current body, but seeing the family picture made me very aware of where I am in my journey, and more importantly, how far I have come. Without the mindsets, tools, and skills that I have developed and have basically experimented on myself and now put it you know, use them with my clients and in my programs, that whole experience on Saturday <laughs> could have been so different, but it wasn't because I had the tools and the skills that I needed. So if you are struggling with this or anything that I'm talking about resonates with you, or if you're one of those people that likes to hide behind other people in photos because you don't want anybody to see your body and your, your head's just sticking out, this is for you. I want to invite you to come work with me, learn the skill sets and tools to help stop beating yourself up physically and in your head. There is no need for it. You can work with me two ways. I do private one-on-one -on -one coaching where everything is customized and tailored for you. It is all online. So as long as you have an internet connection, you can work with me. Um, and it is only you, it's you and I, that's it. Um, or my group membership called Lose It For The Last Time. This is where you're going to learn in a group setting how to overcome self-sabotage, and you're going to learn how to lose the weight for good. So for my private coaching, my one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can schedule a discovery call at shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. -L. If you're interested in the group membership, go to shapeitupfitness.com dog, <laughs> yeah, D-O-G, and I am extending the coupon um, to everybody at this moment. So the coupon code is podcast, all in caps. So P-O-D-C-A-S-T. And that coupon code is good until September 31st. So of 2021, which is the year we are in right now. So if you're listening to it later on, you can absolutely go there and check and see if there's a different coupon code. But if you want to get in now, which I highly recommend because this offer will disappear at the end of September. Lastly, go check out that photo on my social media. Just so you can see how a picture on Saturday evening and a picture on Monday afternoon or late morning can look so different. The pictures really, in my opinion, look like a before and after picture. And it's literally 36 hours away. <laughs> and there was nothing done in between. Um, I will have to do a, a whole podcast on before and after pictures um, and how they can be manipulated and all that. So maybe look for that in the future. But do not let photos hold you back because once you get past your mind drama about your weight, and again, it's not even that you have to be at your ideal dream weight now, you can still work on the mind drama of where you are currently. Um, but getting past the mind drama between your weight about food and about working out. And by the way, it is not as hard as it is made to be in the fitness industry. Promise you that it can be super, super simple. And I want to help you with that. So come and see how easy it is to lose weight and keep it off. All right. That is all for me today. I hope you have enjoyed this podcast and I will talk to you very soon.